Today we're going to take a look at a couple of new parts from the Chinese company Nice CNC. First we will go over the installation and review the quality of their large luggage rack. Then we will go over the installation of the luggage tie brackets. So I've been really impressed with the nice CNC product so far. So now we're gonna unbox their luggage rack and see how it looks. So we've got some spacers, some bolts, and the rack itself. Okay, here's everything that was in the box. We have two different size spacers, four different size bolts. These are all five millimeter bolts versus the factory ones, which are T45. You can see the finish inside these spacers. It's not perfect, but they are made out of aluminum, so they shouldn't rust. The rack itself is also made out of aluminum. Uh, if you look really close at it, there are some blemishes in the finish, but overall, it's really nice. This is actually inset into it. It's not just painted on. Here's the bottom of it. This kind of gives you an idea of the size difference between the factory and the aftermarket rack. It sticks out quite a bit further. So let's go ahead and take off the factory rack and we'll bolt this down and see how it looks. All right, here's one option on how you can mount it. On this one, it has it retains the factory grab handles. You just use the small spacer on the front, no spacer in the rear. And then I use the second to largest bolts in the front and the smallest bolts in the back. It's almost level with the grab handles. And I think this is probably how I'm going to leave it. I believe there's also an option of mounting it without the grab handles. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do to make that happen. Pretty happy with the look of the new rack. I think it'll add some functionality. You, some of you may have noticed that this is pretty much an exact copy of a, another rack on the market. I will do a comparison video of that rack in the future, but for now I'm going to run this and see how it holds up. Here's what the rack looks like with the Krieger OS 12 sitting on it. The loops don't line up perfectly, but they line up close to the mounting holes. So I need to buy the little Krieger attachments and bolt them in. And then I can hook these things right down. Here's a look at the finished 
installation with the grab rails. So we're going to take a look at the nice CNC luggage brackets. They go where the passenger foot pegs are installed. First, let's see what's in this package. All right, the passenger foot bag comes off pretty easily. There's one eight millimeter and two T45 bolts that hold it on. New bracket, it's nice lightweight aluminum. It appears to be intended to use the T45 bolts with the washers included. And you just screw it into place like this. And then your straps can come down. They'll probably still hit your bodywork, but it gives you a good solid place to strap things to. I was hoping I could install the foot pegs with the bracket. Although if you want to do that, you can just use the foot pegs themselves. So I guess that doesn't really gain you anything because the bracket doesn't stick out much further than the foot peg does by itself. Okay, here is a look at the luggage bracket installed. It's pretty nice, unobtrusive, out of the way. The installation on the left side of the bike is really easy, but on the right side, it's going to be a little more difficult because the exhaust pipe is in the way. So to get this one on, you're gonna to need to take off the exhaust pipe hanger release the clamp and slide the exhaust pipe out, then remove the foot peg and then install the bracket. I occasionally use my foot pegs and I kind of like that they hit before other things do. So I'm going to leave them on. I was kind of hoping the bracket would fit up in there and leave the foot peg in place. Though, like I said, you can always just strap here you don't really need the bracket in that case. But if you want to take your foot bags off, these are a really good option, especially if you want to do soft saddle bags and you need a tie in point. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Hope this helped you decide whether you want to add a luggage rack or some tie in points to your bike. Both seem to be really good quality. Fit is good, the finish I'd give maybe an eight out of 10, but I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.